Hi, welcome to this Simply Maya quick tutorial on how to render out a movie from Maya. Now we get asked this quite a lot in the forum. People have their render and they have it in the timeline and they scrub backwards and forwards and they want to get this into an AVI or an MPEG4 or some other video format. Now the simple answer is in Maya, uh, if you bring up your render settings, I'm using Maya 2011 but it is pretty much of a muchness, you'll see here under image formats you will have AVI um, and this will be automatically set to multi-frame. Don't do this, it's a really bad way to do it. Um, if your render crashes halfway through you'll lose everything and if you're looking at a couple of minutes per frame and you know you spent four hours rendering something out and halfway through your computer crashes you've lost everything. Another reason for not doing it is a uh, full frame uncompressed AVI is going to be extremely large and most compositing programs are going to want an image sequence not uh, one AVI file. So the simple answer to the question of how to render out an AVI or movie from Maya is you don't. What we're going to do here is I'm going to show you uh, quickly a batch render. Now there is a free Friday tutorial in our forum on this so I'll just skip through it. I'll pick an image format in this case if I'm going to want frame dot and this hash mark here is number. Uh, my frame padding is two, it's fine. As I say, there is a free Friday tutorial on this, so I'm not going to cover it. So when we've done that, we'll just go up to our um, render settings here. Uh, so I'll put this onto rendering, and I'll hit render, batch render. And this will render out this animation frame by frame. And I'm going to show you quickly how to put this together as a movie. Okay, as you can see here, I've batch rendered my 25 frames here. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to use a free program you can get on off the internet called Virtual Dub. If you just do a Google search for it, it'll bring it up straight away. It's a wonderful free program. It will allow you to put together movie files, uh, encode movie files with various different codecs, and even do a little bit of basic editing of your movie files. But for right now, I'm just going to show you how to bring a frame sequence in and save that out as an AVI. So you want to get a file, open video file. Even though we're working with frames, you still want open video file. And here's the files I saved from Maya. Um, I just rendered out 25 frames. So I'll select the first one. Make sure automatically load linked segments is checked and open that up. And now here you'll see I've got each individual frame on the timeline here of virtual dub. So what we need to do now is get this out as an AVI. Now, you can just simply go File, Save as AVI, uh, but what you need to do before you do this is make sure that your video has been set to direct stream copy and obviously no audio, because if you're exporting straight from Maya, you're probably not going to have audio to go on at this point. You can use um, Virtual Dub to compress video, but that can get a little complicated. You can also change your frame rate here, so I'm going to change this frame rate to 25 frames a second and then we'll go file save as AVI and you might get an error now um, so when we hit save you'll see I've got an error because I'm using an incompatible image format so what I'll do is put this onto full processing mode and if I press control and P on the keyboard wait a second this will bring up my uh, video compression now these are what I have as choices to compress video in. For this I'm going to use completely uncompressed because I'm then going to be loading this into a media encoder to um, encode it. So just click on uncompressed and then we'll just go back to file save AVI and I'll just save that there. So now I have my movie file and I'll just show you that. So if I just bring that up here you go, you'll see my movie file I've saved, and if I click to open, I now have my full movie file. Um, albeit it's only one second of animation at this point, so you won't get a good look at it, but there you go, that is how to save uh, raw uncompressed AVI in Maya. From there you could either take your raw frames into a compositing program uh, such as After Effects or you could take your AVI you've just made here 
into something like Adobe Media Encoder to encode it to get ready for putting it on YouTube or to the web. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. I'll see you soon.